All right, in this video, me, my dad, my brother went out to do some trolling on Lake Michigan. The king bite has not been too great out there. I mean, some guys are getting a couple of them, but for the most part, they haven't been biting too well out there. So we've been going after some cohos and uh, rainbows. Just trolling about 30 feet down and around 150 to 200 feet of water is what we were in now. A week from now, they could totally change. But like I said, we had a fun time. We uh, lost some fish, but we also got a couple in the boat. So yeah, I had a great time and I hope you liked the video. First fish of the day, most likely a coho on the uh, coho rig. Still got a ways before we get to the planer board, but it's always a, always a good sign to get that first one in the boat. Well, he's not in the boat yet, but get that first one bite. Oh, well, we just saw him jump, so we're thinking it's a rainbow, but I guess we'll see when we get him in. All right, well, that one did not have a good ending, but that's really not that, all that uncommon out here. I mean, honestly, just as long as you're around 50%, a little above 50%, that's a pretty good rate. Uh, last time we were actually four for four, so that was pretty good, but um, 0 for one so far. I'm sure we'll get a few more bites. Last time the cohos they really didn't start biting until about this time anyway, and the water's just been, you know, temperatures rising, getting to that 53 to 55 where you want it. It's just been getting better and better, so I'm really thinking we're gonna get some more bites here, and it's gonna start heating up. Yeah, they like it faster apparently. But uh, second fish of the day, hoping to get this one in. It's taking some runs, and thinking it's a pretty nice, uh, nice rainbow if we saw it on the surface but you know we'll see yeah, he's he took a few runs early but now he's just kind of sitting there kind of a stalemate getting him in one way or another well we're over two but it's still early and like I said, last time they started biting later. Um, so I'm still hopeful that we're gonna get a few in the box. All right, third fish is on. Hopefully third time's the charm. It's a rainbow, we can see him jumping way back there. He took quite a few good runs. So if this is a rainbow, it's a pretty nice fish for a rainbow. Um, but we'll see when we get him in. There's no way to tell him for sure what he is now, but he's feeling pretty nice. We're just about up to the planer board here. Still there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five colors of lead core out another 200 feet. Five, six pound rainbow. It's a really nice fish. We get him in the box. He'll uh, he'll grow up pretty nice. This is the fourth bite of the day. He might be off already. We're trying to figure it out. Keep going. We'll find out when we get to the board. All right, so what's happening right here is I'm driving through a big pod of dead alewives. My mic wasn't working, so I'm doing a voiceover. All you can hear is wind, but what I'm trying to say is, for whatever reason this year, we've been seeing a lot of dead floating bait. And whenever we drive through these big pods of alewives, we get a hit um, a minute or two afterwards, just because the fish are coming up and they're eating in these groups of alewives. That's all right, that's all right, then be patient. Fifth bite of the day on the downrigger, so nothing but him and the fish. Hoping this is a king. Really hoping for a king. Kings have been uh, few and far between in Sheboygan so far this year. I mean, a couple guys are getting them, but uh, they've been tough. So hopefully on the downrigger, this can be a king. It's looking like a nice fish. Yeah, just be patient. If 
She wants to run, let her oh, run. Just I just jumped. All right, I'll fly a rainbow, but that's all right. Hopefully we can get him in the boat. All right, here he is. Get a little closer. Oh, that's what happens when you try to film in net. It's actually, that video that I just took of the Alewives is about 10 minutes, five minutes, not even, probably after I took that video that we got that hit on the king. So, like I said, when you see Alewives, you wanna stick to those pots, those pots of Alewives, gunk, whatever you see on the surface, because that's where the food is, and that's where the fish are. Well, that's what we were having success on today with those orange flashers, flasher flies. Sometimes they like the green and white, sometimes they like the white and blue, but it's always those orange flasher flies early in the year like this, especially for the cohos. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, like always, had a blast making it. Hope you guys had a fun time watching it, maybe even learned a thing or two. If you like this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and watch out for some more new videos that are coming. I just got a new boat, and we're taking it on Winnebago this weekend, so hopefully we can get some good footage there. See you in the next one.